I get a call about 5 o'clock in the morning. And a negotiator on the other end of the phone says, I got bad news. Martin Burnham is dead. So I ended up having to make that same phone call myself the exact same way the rest of the day. So for those of you, this is the first lesson. This is our first takeaway, that lessen the impact for the people that you're delivering bad news to. That's a perfect way to deliver bad news. You will help people so much by delivering bad news that way. And I'm also, I'm also going to explain a couple times why the wor what the worst way to deliver bad news, which is the most common way that you normally do. But hit, it, hit people exactly the same way Kevin hit me. Say, so I got bad news. Hesitate for about the count of two and deliver the bad news. And this is one of the emotional intelligence things that I picked up an awful along the way. Because your job is to mitigate the worst moments of people's lives. That's what you're there for. Just like a hostage negotiator. Just like an international kidnapping negotiator. You guys are doing that on a regular basis. So I'm going to give you some of the benefits of how to deal with some of this stuff because you guide people through the most difficult, most traumatic moments of their lives. So here's what you normally do. And, I'll, um, and it's very well intentioned. And I'll grant you that. What do you normally say when you call somebody on the phone and you got bad news? You say, how are you? Right? And it's extremely well intentioned. But I've seen this over and over and over again. So the intent of that is you're trying to get a temperature check on a person on the other side. You want to know how they are. You got some bad news, you got to deliver them. And you don't want to hit them hard. You don't want to hit them between the eyes. And you don't know how to prep them. And the problem is the people get used to how are you. 90% of the time, the person on the other end of the phone's got bad news to deliver. And then if you have bad news to deliver, here's the other part of that that's kind of counterintuitive. You already know how they are. You're probably in the middle of a difficult situation to start with. So when you say, how are you, the person on the other side says, like, are you clueless? Do you, do you not know? So if you got bad news, call them on the phone, say, I got bad news, count two to yourself, hit them with it. They'll appreciate you, you for it. It's I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you with something hard, brace yourself, it's coming. Now don't wait any longer than a count of two because then it becomes excruciating for the person on the other end of the phone. 